for finishing of our casting, we will once again use our lacquer base primer. We'll also use some artist brushes and some antique metallic waxes. In this case, we will be using an antique gold and an antique silver to produce the finishes that we're looking for. Our first step in finishing our castings is reapply more of our lacquer. As there's already a coat of this lacquer primer bonded to the surface of the casting, this new coat will bond well without having to do any additional cleanup. Applying our final patina to our castings will complete the look. We use the artist brush and our metallic wax and dry brush a very light coating on the high edges of the casting. You want to keep your brush really dry and not allow too much buildup. This will produce the look that will make people feel it's a real bronze casting. Put on only as much as you need to create the look that you're looking for. Make certain to go over the entire model. This will add realism to the casting. When you're finished, check the model carefully. You don't want to miss any spots. And now we have a bronze casting. In this application, we'll be producing an antique pewter-like patina. Lightly brush on the antique silver. As you can see, it very quickly begins to look like an aged pewter statue. Make certain you cover the model completely in all the high spots. Look for any spots that you've missed that are too dark or too light. 